guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to talk about sunscreens since it is springtime and summer is right around the corner and it's best to be prepared for the sun. So I'm going to talk about my skin first off. Obviously you can see I'm very pale. Um, I burn very, very easily. I've always had a problem um, with the sun growing up. I grew up in a very sunny climate and I constantly had to be putting on sunscreen. My cheeks would always burn, my nose would burn, my shoulders would burn. Everything would burn if I did not wear sunscreen and I would have to reapply constantly throughout the day or I would look like a lobster at the end of the day. I've had really horrible sunburns before to the point where I had to literally ice my skin on top of already putting aloe all over it. So, I know the struggle of sunburns and I now, being more um, environmentally friendly and more kind of conscious of the money I'm putting towards certain companies nowadays, I definitely look at brands and I look at the ingredients in sunscreens to know what I'm actually putting in my body. Um, our skin is our biggest organ and it absorbs everything we put on it and I think a lot of people don't realize that. Um, there are a lot of not so great ingredients that are actually toxic to our skin that the general public doesn't know about. We also have to remember that if we go into the oceans or into rivers or lakes, anything that's natural in the environment with sunscreen on, we're bringing those chemicals and those ingredients that are in the sunscreens into these natural waters. And they're going to affect the sea life and water life. Sunscreens have had a huge effect on the coral reefs in our oceans. So we really need to be conscious of the ingredients in our sunscreen so we are not harming the sea life and the water life of these waters that we're going into. Now before I get into my three favorite sunscreens, I really want to talk about the environmentalworkinggroup.org. So they have a whole website dedicated to a lot of different things. They talk about personal care products and rank those on a scale of 1 to 10 of ingredients that are good or bad for your skin and they also have a whole um, guide to safe sunscreens. This I found last summer and I found it very, very educational. I looked up past sunscreens I've used and a lot of them were really bad for the skin and for your body. They have the 2016 guide and the 2017 guide will be out soon enough. So keep an eye on that. I highly recommend looking at the sunscreens you have or kind of researching sunscreens that you want to buy for the upcoming summer season. So I'm gonna talk about my favorite sunscreens. First off, I'm gonna talk about this Honest Mineral Sunscreen. I actually purchased this at Costco last summer. This has a 12 month shelf life once it's open. This is really great. I got it in a pack of two, I believe, at Costco, so it is fairly reasonably priced. I also bought it on sale last summer. I love um, the Honest Company. They make great products. I've never really had troubles with them. So this has 19% zinc oxide, and that's something really to pay attention to because a lot of the sunscreens I'm gonna show you have zinc as well as titanium dioxide in it. Um, this one is gonna be the whitest out of all of them. I have loved this product. It, I don't burn from this. I have great results from this. It's just something to be aware of. You don't need a lot, especially with all these sunscreens. A little bit goes a long way. And the next sunscreen I have is called Baby Ganics like organics, um, but Baby Ganix, also a mineral-based sunscreen. I actually got this at Target. So this is significantly larger than uh, the Honest Company, as you can see, and it's a lot thicker as well. Um, Baby Ganix has titanium dioxide, 3% of that. It has 6% of zinc oxide, and it has 5% of octisalate, um, which 
that isn't the best ingredient to be honest when we're talking about sunscreen. Um, so this is a lot healthier than the majority of sunscreens out there. I actually like this a lot more than the Honest sunscreen. Um, the Honest sunscreen tends to be really runny when you put it on. None of these are tested on animals, keep in mind. I really love this. It's a lot creamier of a consistency compared to the more kind of runny, honest sunscreen, but I really like this. Um, it's just harder to travel with this guy just because it is so big, but that's something to keep in mind too. And the third sunscreen is Sunology Natural Sunscreen. I actually ordered this online at Costco.com. Um, I don't know if it's still there anymore just because that website changes a lot, but I do really recommend this sunscreen, the Environmental Working Group gave this sunscreen a one. And this has 10% zinc oxide and 7.5% titanium dioxide. This is 80 minute water resistant. So this again is not the whitest sunscreen like the Honest brand is, but still has very, very healthy ingredients. I really like this Sunology sunscreen. I mean, it does have a different smell from the other guys. Um, I, I can't really place it, but it just has a slightly different scent. But yeah, really love this. This is actually only two ounces or 57 grams according to the bottle here. So this is great to travel with because it's actually really small. If you look at the difference between this guy and this guy, very, very different as you can see. And same with the Honest here. Um, Honest is three fluid ounces and this guy's two. I would say the best two ingredients to look for are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Those are gonna be the best ingredients that you're gonna find in the sunscreens. Um, I'm also gonna link down below the environmental working group page. Um, they don't have an updated sunscreen 2017 guide, but I'm going to link the 2016 guide as of now still very reliable and a great source kind of to look up things. They also have a cosmetics guide if you want to look up makeups or creams, stuff like that. Really anything, they have toothpastes and all kinds of stuff, kind of personal care products on this guide. I'm really trying to buy a lot of more natural things where I actually have heard of the ingredients. Great website really really recommend going there if you're worried about certain ingredients and products you are putting on your skin so thank you guys so so much for watching i really appreciate it like and subscribe to my channel i hope you guys have a fabulous day and hope to see you soon bye guys bye